distilling off benzaldehyde. Attention! Distillations at high temperatures and at low pressures can easily cause glass to break and become very dangerous. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. The apparatus is heated with an oil bath. On top of the distilling flask, a distilling bridge with clays and still heads and a vacuum stopper is connected. The thermometer can be left away in this case because watching the boiling point is not very important. A gas washing flask is connected to the vacuum stopper because a water jet pump is used for lowering the pressure. If the flask would be left away, water could be sucked into the apparatus. The water jet pump is connected directly to the water pipe. Today the use of membrane pumps is preferred, but these are also way more expensive. The bucket contains a little water pump that will supply the condenser of the distillation bridge with water. To the distilling flask, 60 ml of benzaldehyde are added, which has a boiling point of 179 degrees C. All joints have to be greased very well, otherwise the pressure could be not as low as possible. Especially when distilling benzaldehyde, a steering bar is very important because it is likely to bump. The use of a Vigreux column is recommended but not needed when the steering is strong enough. At the beginning the hot plate can be set to maximum so the heating of the oil bath is faster. The pump should only be started when the stir bar is already moving. The low pressure reduces the boiling point of the substance. For example, substances which would decompose before reaching their boiling point can be distilled with this method. In addition to that, reducing the boiling point of high boiling liquids increases the safety, because at the cooler the temperature drops significantly. If the drop is too high, the glass could break. It is possible that the substance condenses completely at the joints, so it's highly recommended to isolate these parts. The boiling point of the benzaldehyde is at 109 degrees C, which means that the pressure is low enough to lower the boiling point by 70 degrees C. The distillation is finished when only a small amount is left in the flask. A distillation is never left to run until the flask is dry. When the pump is turned off, it can be seen why the gas washing flask is needed. It's interesting that the water leaves the flask again at the end. To get the pressure back to normal completely a stopper is removed, otherwise the product could splatter when it's removed. The flask with the benzaldehyde is removed and closed directly to keep the exposure to air as short as possible. After removing the distilling flask, the residue has solidified completely. Benzaldehyde easily oxidizes in air and usually contains benzoic acid. This can disturb reactions and because of that it is removed by distillation. After about one hour, the residue of the benzaldehyde in the graduated cylinder has oxidized, which shows the sensitivity to oxidation. 
It's best to use the benzaldehyde directly or keep it in the fridge and use it on the next day. This was the distillation of benzaldehyde. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment.